Live from the forest, it's the Captain Caribou Live Halloween Special. And now your favorite super-powered mammal, Captain Caribou. Hello everybody, and I'm Captain Caribou, and happy Halloween, uh, let me tell you. You know, I was carving a pumpkin earlier today, and boy are my arms tired. Uh, but you should see the pumpkin. Anyway, I'm going to sit down now in the chair. And, uh, uh, well, let, well, let's welcome our first guest to the show, Jam Dazio. <laughs> So I loved your guys' last record. Oh, thanks, man. You know, we, we've always been huge fans of uh, Moose Man. Moose Man? Yeah, Moose, we love Moose Man. We love Moose Man. Mimi likey Moose Man. Caribou. Well, uh, well that's a moose hat. You're the Moose you're the Man. Moose, you're the Moose Man. You're Caribou. So I hear you have a new record out. We do, we do. Yeah, it drops. Um, it drops this Friday. Um, it's basically we are recreating the seminal punk classic um, 1982's um, Meat Slash Mania by the Meat Slash Manics, a very short lived LA punk band. Um, uh -huh. I've not heard the record. Um, Lucas heard half the record, but we thought that we would um, recreate it in the studio. Um, from, from from memory in Luke's case, for, for me it was more just kind of trying to sense the vibes um, emanating from that time in the past. Yeah, when I first heard that that album, you know, it was it was almost like life essence had just rained from mm. the sky like acid blood, mm. and uh, you know, burned your skin, burned my skin, burned my brain. Um, so it's hard; it's very hard to remember. And just the aura that you could produce through that that mental spiritual fusion that you have was enough yes. for me to catch the vibe and we yes. were just feeling it in the studio. Mm. It was magic. We did it in like two hours. Tops. In like two One hours take, tops. Two it was hours, done. 30 minutes. It was done. So I'd love to hear a track. Uh, are you gonna play a track for us? No. All right. Now we'll go to our uh, reporter in the field, Sean, who will tell us about the health <laughs> dangers associated with various Halloween-themed breakfast cereals. Take it away, Sean. Are Halloween cereals bad for your health? I'm Sean with Probably OK News, and tonight we're going to be discussing the... You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not doing this. This was my show. I was the host for 10 years. This is not the Captain Caribou Happy Fun Time Forest Family Friends Hour. This is the live, probably okay, live Halloween special with your host, Sean Anderson. And if I don't get to be the host, you know what? I quit. Oh, he's not a very happy camper. <laughs> Now with that, we'll go to our next correspondent, Charles Reginald IV, who will tell us about some spooky stuff. Take it away, Charlie. Good evening, this is Reginald. I am here investigating at a client's house with a potential cultist infestation. We will be checking behind the structure. Be quiet. On the bright side, this dog will be muffling our noise with its loud, obnoxious barking. How very curious. As you can see, we have found its cultists. We will be coming back in the morning because it is very dangerous to enter a cultist lair at night when they are most active. Okay, now that we have come back during the daytime, we see clear evidence of cultists. I have gone ahead and opened the door and looked around. The entrance 
but this moss right here, clear indication. Moss only grows like this around Colts' lairs. Clear evidence that they are in here. How do they fit such small places? Here we are. Now, as you can see here, we have a clear altar left by cultists. It looks like it has been used very recently. Cultic atoms they have been using. Now, many people may consider this a back scratcher, a novelty from the state of Louisiana. But this is far more sinister into the object of their worship. Cthulhu. You heard it. And now that we have found where they are located, we will do what we can to purify this house. So, a few of the tools we may end up using for water. Never know when you'll have an allergic reaction to the coldest. Have sage to smoke them out with high vibrational positive energy. <coughs> now that is a job well done. Back to you. Oh, that wasn't scary at all. Am I right or am I wrong, guys? Ooh. Not funny, Charlie. Not scary, Charlie. Not spooky, Charlie. Can we leave? Yes, please go. Well, that reminds me, I've got to read some fan mail or fan email. Got it on my phone here. Here's the first one from uh, Timmy Hugh in Sarasota, Florida. <laughs> Captain Caribou, why are you so awesome? <laughs> well, Timmy, <laughs> it should be pretty obvious. I mean, look around. Captain Caribou will be right back after these messages. Introducing Magic Oven Poppers, only for Pizza Garden. Whoa, radical! Pop them in your oven, wait 30 minutes, and they're good to go. It's magic! Whoa! Have them at your parties, they're spooky treats. Oh, they're so good, but what's inside of them? Mysterious spooky. That's kind of strange, but really good. It's the greatest frozen treat you've ever feasted your fangs upon. Out of this world! Get in the frozen section. Oh, awesome. Oh, these are getting cold. I'm gonna nuke them for a second. Magic oven poppers must only be prepared in the oven for maximum flavor. You can microwave anything. Everyone knows that. Cooking them in the microwave would compromise the flavor quality. So what if it gets a little soggy? No, really, I am not joking here. Do not put those in the microwave. See, no problem. What's that sound? Hey, uh, dude, something's wrong with uh -oh. that microwave. Oh, oh, dude, ah, get out of here, man. Whoa. All happening? right, guys, time to go. What's going on? Oh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, all right, oh, that's, that's pretty cool and all, but we need to get out of here. What is that? What is that? It's one deep treat for the holidays, also available in Blueberry, only at Pizza Garden. That's deep! What up, chillers? It's your boy, Scotty J. What up, killers? What up, killers? What up, PO Ultimate fans, Patreon supporters, thank you guys. We are pumped to release this exclusive announcement on Halloween night 2020. We are thrilled to announce a new collab with the general himself, General Mills. I'm talking about Cheerios, I'm talking about General Mills. We are so freaking thrilled about this collab, probably owes. 
your delicious cereal. Probably the best thing you could have for breakfast. Gluten-free, I'm talking on the shelves. Your Jewel, your Walmart, your Aldi, uh, Trader Joe's, whatever you got, whatever you need, whatever's local. Probably O's, I'm talking your favorite cereal. Probably OK fans. So I'm just so thrilled. I'm thrilled for Sean for hooking this up. I'm thrilled for Mike. I'm thrilled for Jeremy. I'm thrilled for Captain Caribou himself. Guys, thank you. Thank you for hooking this up. Um, big things coming for Probably OK 2021. We're talking new shorts. We're talking pants, joggers. We are hitting the shelves. So I'm just thrilled. I'm freaking thrilled. All right, Captain Caribou, back to you. Well, I gotta get me some of those sick beats. Now we're gonna go to Michael Jolis, who's got a special Halloween message just for us. Take it away, Mikey. I'm too busy to do a Halloween segment this year. Sorry. are not spooky. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be able to sleep for more a week. That was so spooky. And now it's now a special Halloween cooking segment from our own Gary Frapchois. Gary Frapchois is coming at you with the Halloween time cooking video. First thing that you're gonna use when you make a Halloween crouton free no bake stew. Forgot the most important step, your cooking shorts. Most important, cause you might get a little, uh, <clears throat> you might get a little grackle from the, well, you'll find out. The accoutrement that you're using has got a match, foundational flavor, uh, over profile. Do a little, rub it up. You know, that, that, that moan cluster of, of, uh, one of these little gribbies. Okay, like that. Guys, some golden solid. Little squirt. Little, little, little shiggle. Take one more and you toss it in. Gonna get in, you do the same, you, you do the same, you know, procedure. Oh, it's really not wanting to, you grab. Oh, it's perfect, that's a good, that, that didn't even plan, plan it that way. It just turned out. Take it, take that there, that's enough. And you get that nice and uh, jostled. Everybody's favorite, Mr. Stankin' Fairy. He's the brother of the Tooth Fairy, and he'll come at night if you do a doo-doo that's a little too stinky. And that's why he goes in last, because you gotta respect it. And now the final step, the big crush. This is a cool time free, no bake growling casserole. Don't think that we forgot about it. It's the sour soap, and we're gonna use it as the flarnish of the dish. It's like when you see lettuce and that. Crouton for you, no big. Graduin casserole stew. Better host than you, Stew. Hey, trick or treat. Gary, what are you doing in my house? I'm trick or treating, and I got candy, and I like your costume. What did you do? Did, I made it. What did you do in my, did you make this in my kitchen? Yeah, I did. It's a casserole stew. Gary, I, free I'm calling the cops.
just about does it for another live Halloween special. Tune in next year for... No. It's happening too soon. It's happening. Those are some serial killers. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Drive safely. Yo, what? I'm in the backseat now, chillers. One brief shout out. Check out my SoundCloud.com page, Bad Apple Beats. Get the thickest, sickest, Ellis Beats for your vids. I'm talking elevating your vids to the next level, just like this one. Contact me for a personal beat for your vid. I'm sure to hook you up, dudes. Low prices, uh, mid hundreds, mid two hundreds. Limited time only. Buy two beats, get one beat for free. SoundCloud.com slash Bad Apple Beats. Hook me up. What's up, players? You you might have uh, noticed that I was not sitting in a chair this episode, and that is because uh, if you go on truth truthchairs.org, you will know, you will understand that um, ever since Jeff Boris um, took over the chair manufacturing, uh, multi-billion CEO of chairs, he put uh, a lot of AI chips in his chairs and they, they will track your every location and your thoughts. So that is why I've cho chosen not to send chairs. Thank you. You better get those chairs away!